All right, guys. Just giving you another update. Everything cycled, and there's been quite a few changes. Well, I changed the rocks and got them all uh, cemented down. I know there's not enough cleanup crew yet. Let's see if I can get it to focus on this one margarita snail. Suction cup has fallen. I need to dig that out. And I got some. Where did he go? He like went way far up in there. I got two of these yellow tail damsels. And got this from one of the local fish stores here, DFW, well, Dallas North Aquarium. It was on their $9.99 frag rack. I was like, oh, well, I'll go ahead and give it a try. It was pretty closed up yesterday, but it's come out quite fine today. Seems like it's doing okay. Now, I know I probably should have did a dip on it, but I did not. I did not see that thing until after I had already glued it down and I'm not sure what it is it's not Aptasia um, if anybody knows what it is feel free to leave a comment below I'm just gonna kind of watch it it does not move anywhere so yeah sorry about the ugly cement I wasn't wasn't really too sure what how to do it correctly when I did that I was like yeah that's that was way too much but there's one of the yellow tail there's the other one I'm gonna keep them in here but my ammonia is at zero, my nitrate's at zero, nitrite is at zero. They all peaked and have fallen. Uh, calcium's at about 430, 440 after I dosed the tank today. And uh, protein skimmer. I'm, gonna have to go pick up a new one I'm not sure what's going on with that one it keeps trying to overflow so I'm having to just run it on short burst and continue to empty the collection cup and then turn it off because it keeps filling up and overflowing I'm not sure what's going on with it I bought it used um, for really pretty cheap and that's probably why and it's missing some components like the collection cup lid and uh, a few other unnecessary things but I definitely am gonna have to go get a new one uh, just coming up Friday I'll just keep using it um, as spur when I'm here that way the tank's not getting too nasty. But those damsels are really happy. You keep seeing that one go up in there and it's just big enough. I mean, just small enough to get up in, in there and it goes around to the back of the tank. Well, to the back of the rock and it gets out, so. Another margarita snow. As of right now, I've got two of the yellowtail damsels in here, two hermit crabs, five um, margarita snails, 
and two of these big snails, I forget what they're called, I think tiger conch snails or something, I don't know, I really don't remember, and I am horrible with names, but this coral, I forget the name of it, but it really has perked up quite a bit since I got it in the tank. So hopefully I do okay with it. Actually, hopefully I do really good with it. Um, but you know, if I do end up killing it, that will suck. But you know, it was only a $9 frag, so. I'm not too terribly worried about it. I figured that'd be a good soft coral to start um, learning on. So we shall see. Um, again, if anybody knows what that thing is right there, it almost looks like a, a anemone, but it doesn't move. But I'm not sure, but if you have any idea what it is, leave a comment below, hit me up, and I'm looking to add some more fish here pretty soon. Uh, you like the progression of the tank and how it's coming? Uh, make sure you hit like and the subscribe button and the bell to give you notifications when I upload a new video and when definitely when I buy the new protein skimmer I will do a unboxing on it and all that so like subscribe and share please share leave any comments if you have any advice or anything like that um, yeah, that powerhead's, um, gonna get moved. The reason I put a sponge on it is because I do plan on getting a bubble tip anemone. The kiddos are just having a fit about getting one. So, I will be getting a bubble tip anemone. I think I'm gonna end up getting a green one. So, um, I found a really cool rainbow one, but I do not feel like dropping that kind of money on a anemone that could really kill all the corals I have. But there's some fish, some really good fish stores here in North DFW um, that's got some for some pretty, pretty reasonable price. And these guys have just been pecking away at all that fresh green algae. As you can see, most of the brown, old brown stuff is gone. Um, there's still some around, but really the snails and everything else have been cleaning the tank up pretty nice. So. That's where I'm at so far. I know I do not have enough cleanup crew in here yet. I will be just slowly buying more and more every time I go to the fish store. But it's a pretty good start and I will continue to get more and I will continue to update as the tank changes. Thank you.